Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antique Serena. My name is Walter O'Neill and here are some of my um, stock buy-in or my finds, whatever way you want to call it. Um, I normally say my car boot sale finds but these are still uh, private purchases. Now I'm going to start off, I've got a couple of nice pieces today. But I'm going to start off with a reproduction Tiffany style glass lamp. Now. Tiffany started doing these uh, lamps in the Art Nouveau period with um, stained glass. That's uh, Lewis Comfort Tiffany and they pull serious money. These are obviously reproductions. Um, still stained glass, lead lined all the way around. Um, and I got some beautiful hummingbirds. So as you can see some stunning colours in this lamp. When it's lit up it is quite spectacular. Um, they have, well, what can I say, they have a bronze finish, they're not solid bronze, they're finished in bronze. Um, there we go, tighten that up. There we go, right there. Um, what can I say, uh, to buy a lamp like this, with the, tip, with the hummingbirds and that, you know, you're probably talking 100, 125 pound new. These haven't got age, um, but they are the big thing at the moment. Everybody seems to want them. A lamp like this with the hummingbirds on, it's got to be 40, 45 pounds second hand. Now I paid a tenner for it. And it is beautiful guys, it really is. Um, you know, it's in lovely condition too. When you buy these, check all the stained glass that is not cracked and damaged. But that's a really nice find. But due to the size of this, I'll put 30, 35 pound on this on a car boot sale tomorrow. And I'll probably achieve 25, 30 pound and just have it gone with. Um, I could put it on eBay, uh, they ask silly money on eBay, but in all honesty, I want it gone. If come in, as long as it shows me 10 or 20 pound profit, it's a wait. So, that's that one. Next then guys, I've had a pair of Bohemian Crystal table lamps. No shades, but a perfect pair of vases. All hand cut crystal, lovely condition, no chips or cracks. Look at that. They have this bohemian pattern to them, this sort of star here. Um, but they are a really nice quality, heavy guys, uh, pair of glass lamps. Now I'm, I bought them in as a pair and I'm going to sell them as a pair. Um, what am I going to ask? Probably about £45 a pair. Um, and that then will go out to the trade, we'll put a shade on them and they'll sell them out £35-£40 each. So they'll double their money. They cost me £15 a pair, £7.50 for a cut, hand cut crystal table lamp. That's seriously cheap guys. Um, and when I out them for 40 quid, 45 quid, that's cheap. And when they put a shade on them and they ask 45 each, that'll be cheap and they'll sell. So everybody will make an earner and they'll be gone. And that, to be honest with you, is good quality stock, guys. And the fact it's a pair. Always better to have a pair of something than there is a single. You know, over the moon with them. They're real nice quality lamps. They ain't going to struggle to sell. What well, you can hear in the background is Sandra. She's just come in with Bradley. He's staying the night. And you can hear her chops in. As she does. Um i move on to one of my star buys, guys. Um, I'm going to try and chuck some in nice in every video. In the last one, you saw the um, Empire State Building. Absolutely mwah, beautiful. In this one, I'm going to show you a piece of art. Now, before I show you it, I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is first. I'm going to give you a minute to look at it and see if you can come up with what it is. And then I'll tell you exactly what it is. Are you ready? There you go guys, so, take a good look. Have you got it yet? I'll read it to you. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen do you notice a few words wrong there right now this is all hand carved out of one single piece of what looks to be pine or soft wood there's no damage anywhere on there it's all perfect and for some fragile pieces that's rare it's backed on this old velvet liner which is discolored through years and years and years of just sitting on a wall I'll show you all that now you can see the discoloration at the bottom there uh, if you look along here you'll see the colors totally different to along the top uh, it's not really picking up in the camera but all along here is faded severely and then it comes up into this rich purple uh, velvet on the top original frame now somebody at some point or another guys paid for this to be shipped by airmail there's an early airmail sticker on there you can see where the velvet has been on for a long 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 time now I'm going to ask you have you figured out what it is yet obviously it's a variation of the Lord's Prayer obviously it's hand carved out a piece of wood obviously it's backed on velvet and behind glass I'm going to tell you what I paid for it which was £25 and what do I think it's worth closer to 200 it is an altered Lord's Prayer for a Masonic Lodge that's Freemasons guys um, this actually came out of a lodge um, a closed lodge in Wales this was actually hung in their lodge so it's a really really nice little piece there we go I'm asked to head in for the website guys no way that's going to a car boot or no way it's going on eBay head in for a website age wise early 20th century in my opinion maybe even late Victorian um, absolutely stunning what can I say that's a find and a half it really is in my opinion that is as rare as they come I haven't done no research on it yet um, it's come in and I've been really excited um, so yeah I'm gonna have to research that up find out if there's others out there if there are and they're only pulling 60 to 100 pound then obviously that's where I'll get for it but in my personal opinion Masonic Lodge stuff is worth a, an arm and a leg and they've even carved where they've got <coughs> where they've carved the cross um, Jesus' cross they've even carved a crown into the cross a lot of work gone into that and there's so many fragile fragile parts and elements to it but because it's never been out of the frame never been out of the glass it's in perfect condition you start losing pieces of wood you're there and everywhere and you've lost the value but that's as rare as they get over the moon with that guys really am so as i've said so new, you've had the tiffany style lamp you've had the pair of bohemian cut crystal lamps my boy wants to come say hello mini guys so bear with me careful of the glass hello i'm in wrestle video okay <laughs> anyway guys so you saw the tiffany style lamp with the hummingbirds you've seen the pair of bohemian crystal lamps absolutely stunning you've seen that amazing and very rare masonic hand carved lord's prayer variation and the final little piece i'm going to show you is a modern collectible mimi you're not having it it cost me a pound guys and let me get the label up it cost me a pound and it is a car London taxi it's only a modern one made in China and it has the Beatles all over it now why did I buy it because it was in the box of stuff that I had to buy for a pound a piece I didn't know what it was in there but that is still a nice collectible car and the fact it's got the Beatles all over it and the Apple for the Apple label on the bonnet then it is going to be f five, six, seven, eight pound. And for a pound, you know, if you can get a fiver for a pound, that's still not bad. 
bet you'd like to play with that, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. You know my stock is my stock. <laughs> you gonna say hello to the guys? Hello. You gonna say goodbye to him? Goodbye. Careful, careful. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video, guys. Um, I certainly love that Lord's Prayer. Um, if you did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page on a group, Antiques eBay. Arena. You'll find me on eBay. And just run a search for Antiques Arena Clearance, guys. And I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk or antiquesarena.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.